Hello everybody and welcome back to East. Last video we fought the first boss of Darm Tower and after doing so we got a couple of items. The first being the hammer which we are going to be using in this video and we also got our fourth book of East. So that is one book out of three that we need to get in the tower. Let's continue onwards. Going back to the 8th floor, we're going to head from the western side where the boss door was to the eastern side and heading back up to the ninth floor balcony. We're then going to return to this room here, which I do believe we were already in. We collected one of our silver pieces of armor, I do believe, from that chest there. So this room should look familiar. Now that we have the hammer, we can move on. There is a corridor leading to the south on the southern wall that you can go into and that will lead us to this door here and by going through here we should now be able to carry on throughout a couple more floors of the tower so we're going to be doing some more climbing that's what this game really likes us to do in this particular area and darm tower is huge we've only just sort of scratched the surface we're now on floor 10 and on this floor, there's gonna be two possible ways for us to go. You can see that there is a staircase leading north. We're gonna ignore that for now. And instead, what we're going to do is we're going to head southeast, looking for another staircase that we're able to climb. And now that we're on the 11th floor, you may be able to tell that this floor here is quite a bit different. This is like nothing we've seen in Darm Tower so far. It's got a much different look. It's got an eerie sort of sound. So be on your guard when you're in this room. And before continuing on through the doorway and heading into this room, I would very strongly recommend making sure that your health is fully healed because this room is going to damage you. Once your health is healed, what you want to do is go into the room and you want to beeline it straight for the door in the middle. And in here, we will be able to find Reba. Oh, it's you. The monsters got me and shut me in here for some reason. Can't believe I let my guard down. They broke my idol too, so no more turning invisible. What do you mean, run? That's the devil's quarter out there. That eerie humming can kill a man. You're young and strong, but I'm a weak old man. I'd never make it. Though, you do look rather pale right now. Why not rest here for a moment? The first time you talk to him, he'll give you a heal, and if you talk to him a second time, we'll get a good hint as to where to go next. That devilish music is caused by the wind, I surmise. It's really rather cleverly designed. It's like a pipe organ. I think the wind's being fed through one of the pillars on the balcony. If we could figure out which one, we could bust it with a hammer or something and stop the music. Well, luckily for us, we have a hammer. And that is where we are going to be able to use that item. So let's head back out the way we came. Let's take the staircase that we ignored when we came to this floor to the north. And when we get up here on the balcony, you may notice that the pillars look a little bit different. They have what looks to be some sort of device on each pillar. And it's one of these devices that's feeding the wind into the Devil's Corridor. Go ahead and equip your hammer. And we need to be able to smash the correct pillar. And that pillar is the second pillar to the left of the entrance, which is going to be this one here. And now that we've taken care of that, we should be able to continue onwards when we get back to the corridor. So let's unequip the hammer and re-equip the blue necklace just in case we do run into any traps. I do like to keep this equipped at all times. And at this point, we're able to go back to that room. But what I would like to do first is continue to the west on the 11th floor balcony into this room here you'll see that there is a blood trail, and if you follow it, you'll find Luta. Adel, it's me, Luta Gemma. 
I was hiding out with Reba, but the monsters located us. I managed to get away, but hurt my leg rather badly in the process. Oh, don't worry. It's nowhere near as bad as it looks. I just have to stay off of it for a bit. I heard from the old man that a young girl was taken into the annex. I don't like the sound of that one bit. Please, Adel, go and rescue her. So it may look bad, but Luta is going to be just fine. We can leave him where he is. Now, the reason I wanted to speak to him now is because it is required to speak to him later on in Darm Tower. This bit of dialogue that we just got is 100% completely optional, but we are going to have to return to Luta at some point later on. So I just wanted to point out his location for anybody who may be at that point where you have to find him and aren't sure where he is. He will stay there, so we don't have to worry about him moving or anything like that. Especially considering that he is injured, it's probably best for him to stay put. With all that being said and done, we can return to the Devil's Corridor and you can see that the music has stopped. And Reva has also left, presumably because it's now safe to leave. And we are now free to continue on climbing the tower. We just have a couple of more floors to go before we're going to be coming up on another boss battle, actually. We're on floor 12 right now. This floor is completely useless. It has nothing. No enemies, no treasure, no anything. So you can pretty much just find the next staircase leading up and completely ignore that room. You don't have to worry about missing anything. However, now that we're on floor 13, you can see that this room is quite a bit different, and this room is pretty complex. Fortunately, we don't have to attempt anything in this room at the moment. We're lacking the required item in order to do the puzzle in this room, so we are going to have to fight another boss before we can continue onwards. It looks like Reba made it out safely, so let's speak to him first. Were you the one who stopped the music? Thanks to you, I was able to get out of that room. Much obliged. Pity. I lost my idol, though. I'll have to keep to the shadows, I suppose. Please don't worry about me. You have more urgent matters to attend to. Three stories up, there's a passage to a smaller suspended tower known as Rado's Annex. It's a creepy place that seems to be used as a prison, and a young girl is being held there right now. And if my research is accurate, the, the door can only be opened by one with an evil heart. I know that's not you, but maybe with the right item you can find a way. Please rescue that girl. Oof. I was attacked by a monster. Got away, but not without injury. Hurts if I talk too much. So, like Luta, Reva is gonna stay here if we need to talk to him for anything else. He doesn't really say much else, just basically wanting us to go and rescue that girl, which does seem to be pretty urgent. But unfortunately, like I said, we can't do anything to actually advance on in the tower at the moment. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to head to this western staircase. This will bring us up to floor 14, and this is where we're going to be able to find our next boss. So again, once you're in the boss arena, the boss battle doesn't actually start until you examine the door in this area, so this is a prime opportunity to make sure that you have all of the right equipment on. Keeping in mind, of course, that rings don't matter in this fight, so it doesn't really matter what you have equipped because it won't help. And this boss is very similar to the first boss of the game, where your armor and your shields also don't matter. He seems to have a set damage output, so the only real thing that I would be concerned about in this battle is making sure that you have the best sword available. The silver sword is going to work quite nicely. Go out onto the balcony and heal up, or if you have a heal potion, you could use that if you wish. I would make a save, and then when you're ready, go ahead and examine the door. Alright, well, let's see what sort of damage we can do to this boss. This boss can be pretty tough because there really is not a whole lot of strategy involved. 
it is very much a kamikaze. Go in and try your very, very best to kill it before it kills you. The goal is to attack the middle section, of course, the weak section that's protected by all of those rocks. And the reason that this, this boss is tough is because you can't really do a whole lot against it. The projectiles that it fires at you fire so incredibly quickly that I find them really, really hard to avoid. So it's really hard to do the whole cat and mouse sort of strategy that we were doing with the boss in Rast and Mine, where it'll chase us around, it'll stop, and we'll get an opportunity to attack it. This boss never really gives you the opportunity to attack it at all. It's constantly attacking you, it's constantly moving, and really, I haven't seen any other really good strategy besides going in and trying to kill it before it kills you, unfortunately. So, I'm sorry if that's not very helpful, but that really is the only thing that I can think of to do. So this will probably take you a couple of retries, which is why it's definitely worth going ahead and saving before you attempt the boss, because it will most likely be over very quickly, especially if you are running uh, in straight head on and attacking it like so. You can see there that I was very close. He hit me one hit before I was able to kill him. He doesn't move around a whole lot either. He basically just stays in the middle. So it's a very slow moving boss. And because Adel is so quick, it's really easy to just go in the middle and run circles in the middle of this guy's core and try to cause damage that way. There are a couple of different patterns that you can try. You can try running back and forth, running in circles, running up and down, whatever it is that works best. You're really going to try a lot of different things in order to try and attack this boss. Now, I have read that there is a way to attack it faster and do more damage. The rocks protecting the core are going to circle around it and you want to try and attack the core when the rocks aren't protecting it. But I personally find it very difficult to see that at all. I, I just find that the core is protected at all times by those darn rocks, and there really is not a good opportune time for me to go in and attack it, so this is sort of what ends up happening with this boss. I don't find this boss as frustrating as some of the other ones because it just doesn't take nearly as long as some of the other fights do. But because you are probably going to have to retry this quite a few times, that can get pretty frustrating. At this point, I think I've pretty much talked mostly about the strategy or lack of strategy involved with this boss. So what I'll probably do again, like I did with the boss in Rast and Mine, is I will probably um, re-attempt this on my own and I'll put the successful attempt in the beginning of the next video and then we will continue on from this point because now I've given this quite a few tries and I still haven't managed to uh, do it. Oh, never mind, there we go. Managed to kill it <laughs> and I only had one shot left. Now luckily your health is going to restore fully once you finally beat that boss and we can pick up our rewards. We get the rod, which is the required item needed to do the next uh, puzzle with the mirrors. And then we also get our second book of East in Darm Tower. So there we are. Hopefully you guys don't have as much trouble with that boss as I do. That is an extremely easy boss to do on easy difficulty, but on harder difficulties, normal, hard, or nightmare, that guy can really, really be very, very frustrating. So I wish everybody luck. Thank you all so very much for watching all of my many reattempts of that boss. We never have to fight it again. And from here, we can thankfully continue on in Darm Tower in the next video. Thank you all so very much for watching and I hope that I will see you next time.